Toy Story Villain Star. Toy Story Villain Star. Toy Story Villain Star. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the cloud where we are celebrating Toy Story Villain Style. I hope you liked that. Just big old lots of hugs to all of you who made up my first. 100 subscribers and let's hope that keeps on going and also on top of that we are celebrating this right here this happened during the week as well i also hit level 60 so it is a good week all round and we will do a little something about that in another video but today we are here to carry on talking about this event that's going on to earn the lots of tokens i don't know if we're gonna get there quite today but we're definitely making some progress and as predicted they did uh bring in the lotso pack so not only can you buy yourself a lot so if you're trying to get yourself into this villains toy story team and uh as well as the bundle there is one specifically just for lotso and as we said going to be around the 80 token mark and it is a $50 slash $70 Canadian pack to get yourself that premium character from this event. I don't think they've really changed anything else here. Just the usual kind of stuff that they throw at you. You can still get the big baby bundle and the junk bundle. And now there is the Lotso pack we thought they would put in there towards uh, later on in the event. And again, the premium pricing there with the 1200 gems. So now you can get the full set of these uh, new Toy Story 3 villains for the event if you want to go and do that. So back to where we were with that. Also, they brought in double drops like they did with the Frozen event. I kind of should have seen that one coming as well. And uh, but I was kind of blown away by how fast and quick they drop the event on us. I just kind of forgot about that one. But as you can see, the double drops have definitely helped me. I know a couple of people who actually did uh, all their refreshes and stuff like that. I haven't had the most amount of time uh, to get into the game recently. But uh, also, I'm a little low in gems. I do have a couple of those uh, offers coming in uh, that seem to be dropping the two times events more often than not now, uh, at least a lot more frequently than they used to. But uh, we'll, I think we'll be doing a few videos on that as well as some of you seem to be struggling with uh, how to get your gems out of that. But for now, um, being short, I haven't been doing the 50 gem refresh daily to uh, get extra energy to keep having goes at this guy or refreshing the attempts on it. Um, just the ones that you get free from your club. And yet I've still managed to grind myself up three away which I'm pretty sure we should be able to go ahead and get here so be the worst luck in the world if i can't do it now with two nodes to grind from so let's go for it and hope we get the three that we're looking for hopefully you guys have been getting better rng and got there a lot faster i know some of you have been missing me and telling me you got your chunk um and oh no one okay so we really, really need to get two out of this. All right, here we go. And there it is. We needed the extra attempt from our club there, which is why you really need to have a good club. But that was always going to be the plan. The minimum we could have got out of the day was going to be three. So like I said, I hope you've been getting better RNG than I have because that literally took us right down to the wire. And now there he is. Just like that little animation, I kind of collect them, I guess. And we have Chunk Unlocked. And we head on back. And it's another excuse to see that awesome animation. So there you go, 25 for 25. 
Let's get this on lock. So here we go. I'm kind of curious to see if we can do what we always do and leave them at absolute base level. And go off to play date peril again. As you'll see, we now, and also it was really good timing because I can auto win this one and I will have one left out of that, which meant I would not be getting any more uh, big baby tokens either. So timing could not have been better. As you can see, we now qualify for this next tier and we can go in and do this battle. And there he is. Chunk with his superhero landing, also doing the cool animation there in the dungeon. And let's go ahead and throw in these low level characters again, apart from Zerg again. Getting with the Toy Story Villains theme. Unfortunately, other Toy Story Villains aren't available to me yet. So we'll just put in my level 30 Mordu. And then we got a 20 Doc. And let's put in Yasma. She's as close as we're going to get to a lower level character. I could put in Scar again, but uh, we've gone up one level, which the recommended is level 20 and gear tier 2. So they're about as close as I can get. And we'll go with Trigger and let's throw in the Duke. Good old favorite who makes lots of appearances on our videos and hasn't been here in a while. So let's go off and head into the toy room. So here we go, level two. Landing with our villains. It's Buzz and Jesse again, and oh, I got a free passive there straight away from Zerg. So let's try and hit Jesse before she dumps a whole bunch of aliens on us. Too late. There they go. Oh, bye bye, Chunk. Well, that was always going to happen then at uh, zero level. Let's replace him with Trigger. Good old Buzzard, and I. Shame I couldn't get this off before we lost uh, our chunk there. But let's get that up and then send in the Duke. <laughs> Have you noticed that on levels where there's too many things in the level, the Duke just goes flying through the scenery. Uh, and Trigger is going to totally finish Jesse off here and the rest of the crew didn't even get to go. So again, this is not going to be difficult at all um should i back out now we don't really need to test around with this anymore so i say chunk's not gonna survive being uh absolutely base level uh, especially with that extra bonus jesse gets out of the claw there but we did get our uh, baby bonus first two and then the regular one that we're gonna get which means we can start accumulating those as well what is the row? 15 out of 50. So I don't think we're going to get that much further in the event. Uh, the, yep, the next one's going to be three. Uh, I'm a fair chunk off chunking up three uh, star there. And also with Big Baby. So if you're going to go completely free to play and like me, you're not going to spend anything on uh, refreshes and things like that for the moment at least. And then this is going to be about it, I think. Um, might just do that battle again because there's still days left in there and I can get that extra big baby token out of that. So while we are here, why don't we see what it's going to take to ramp Chunk up to the point where we can three star this and not have him go out so quickly. So I'm going to assume we need to level him up. It said level 20. But uh, we never like to do that. We always try to go mini max. So let's say, let's go with 10 first and see if that'll do it. So let's put him up to 10. That allows us to get some gear on him. So let's put, I wanted a gear level two. So let's put all of this gear onto Chunk and cheer him up to two. And we'll have him at two flat. So he had a nice little boost there. He should be able to survive. You would hope one round of getting hit by that claw, but we will see. So, back we go into the prep dungeon. And once more into the playroom. Buzz and Jesse again. And, ooh, there you go. 
Zerg always leading up now. Let's try not to take him down so fast. Let's go off the buzz first this time. And this time, managing to get off the taunt. So, claw. Yep, there you go. Chunk survive. That's it. Then <laughs> he went for the taunt again. I haven't had, well, obviously, I've just unlocked him, so I didn't realize he, he just loves that move where he bonks himself on the head to flip his face plates. So let's have a quick look and see what his abilities are. So he's got a ground pound. So that would be adjacent damage, that with the AoE, and then his basic and putting defense down. So Jesse already has fear on her. So let's just keep working on Buzz. Pretty weedy 31 hit there, as is gonna be probably from the rest of my low level characters. Not actually managed to put this on anyone yet. Turn Jesse into a frog. Let's pepper the frog with Zergs. Oh, and he's happy again. And I don't even think we need trigger. I just kind of want to send Duke Boom through the middle of the play test again. Here we go. Kind of need to fix that maybe, but it's not really worthwhile. So Duke Kaboom for the win there. Easy three star. And that'll do. Playdate peril for me, because I don't think we're going to go any higher, because Baby's not getting up to three star, neither is Chunk anytime soon. But as we know, we can head on back to the second phase of this, which is the sunny side skirmish, because Barb entry with Chunk also gets you here into the first level of sunny side skirmish. So this one, level one requirements are a little higher. They're the same as level two for the first one and tier two again. I But again, don't really perceive this going to be any more difficult than the play date peril. And in this, we've got Woody and Bo Peep this time. And this time, Woody gets to use the bucket of soldiers each turn. Oh, use the bucket of soldier spell each turn. And then he's got Yeehaw reduces magic cost. And then Bo Peep survival skills, increased chance to activate, increased health restored, reduced magic cost, and grants Woody one magic for all abilities. So all kinds of magic going on here for the Toy Story characters in Sunnyside Skirmish. And hopefully keeping Chunk at level 10 is gonna be enough. Let's find out. Again, we're just gonna take in the low levels. Don't think this is gonna be any more difficult. Get in the dock. And this time I'm thinking I'm even just gonna bring in my lovely Scar who has like virtually no gear on him. And do we even need Mordu this time? No, let's leave Mordu out of this. So let's get Duke back in here though. Let's go all Toy Story spell. So they got a bucket. We'll get a duck and a bunny and another Duke. I don't even think we're gonna use them. So Sunnyside Skirmish also the same level. Nothing new here. So we got Bo Peep and Woody this time. And oh, we get to see a little more of the toy room though because the buckets got the camera to zoom out there for us. So uh, let's just hit them with a few basics first. See how tough they are. Wow, three buckets of soldiers. Can you imagine that during PvP or tournament? That, that's got to be horrible. Okay. So we got a taunt up from probably the weakest player in the field. That's not great. So let's try out his AoE. And... Desmond there. Okay, this could be a little bit harder. Wow, okay. Oh, look at that. That That is horrible. So many soldiers coming at you. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to turn Bo Peep into a frog here, I think. Okay, so this could be a little bit harder. Spells might come into play here, but let's try and take out Bo Peep while she's taunting because you can't get anyone else. So a little extra help there from the Zerg, but most of you are probably not going to be taking completely useless characters in. Oh, okay. With the buckets, he's not doing too well. I think we're going to even up the score here by throwing in a couple of our better spells. So, hmm. This can be done, but we obviously want to keep a three-star streak going here. Let's 
throwing the duke in, in this. And get our first Lotso token. So, on the way there. And we're gonna get one more attempt to three star this now that we know what we are dealing with, which is apparently a whole bucket, a bucket of soldiers. Um, what, four, five there? Uh, so Chunk's gonna need a little bit more on him. So let's bring him up to the recommended and see if he fares any better. So, 20, bang on there. And there he goes, he's a. Uh, very happy about that apparently. And I don't think we'll put any more gear on him for the moment and let's see how he does. This time I'm thinking I am going to take in more to just a little time. So we will probably take in whichever tank, seeing that tanks are now more part of the gameplay in the game. Start figuring out tactics and ways to use them more effectively. And here we go, going for the three star. And straight away two buckets. That yeah, that's just that's just mean. All right, okay. You can mean there goes scar. Right, and let's take out Bo Peep as fast as possible this time. No missing around. I'm gonna go straight in there. That's gonna help charge up the magic for the spells and Ducky and Bunny. Let's have it. Okay, far too easy this time. So spells doing the business. Oh, Duke didn't actually come through the middle of the furniture this time. And there we go. That's the three star. So much better. All right, one more lot. So five out of eighty. So. That's a long climb or a $70 pack, so I, I think I'm going to take the climb. So, sunny side skirmish in the bag, and we are on our way to collecting ourselves some Lotso tokens. And Big Baby is already rolling, and we've got an unlock of Chunk. How about you guys? Are you chasing these Toy Story 3 villains hard or are you going to just let them come as and when and when the event rolls around again? Let me know down in the comments below. Speaking of the comments below, I will start to get a Discord going so you can come and tell me and chat about and ask your questions there as well now that we have hit the 100 subscriber mark. Just once again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and sticking with me and hanging out and doing my crazy videos. Hopefully you enjoyed the little tribute to you guys at the beginning there. Had a lot of fun doing that. Probably get some more of those out real soon along with all the other good stuff that comes with growing a channel and a community which I hope to keep on doing with you all. Speaking of, don't forget the weekend will be up to our uh, eighth live show I think. We're getting close to uh, double figures on that. We're always having a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get some more of the usual suspects in there real soon. There's a whole uh, bunch of reasons why a couple of the guys have not managed to make it over the last couple of weeks. But hopefully we'll get the whole crew back together again and have a lot more fun when there's more of us in the mix there. But until then, my friends, as always... Toy Story Villain Star Story villain star. Hey, Buzz Moody. Toy, 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 toy. Story villain star.